Hey guys, how you going? Chad again, not Aussie Stunt Man. I'm eventually going to get back to that channel, just doing this vlog one day thing and then build up the motivation and like the videos I want to do. With the, I've watched this video a couple of times now that's already on YouTube and I, I haven't seen anybody do their version of it yet. I know it's copying someone else's idea, but I was just watching it and thinking, oh, I reckon I could do a really awesome like cover a parody of that video, which I'm going to do, but it will be going up on my other channel and probably start my, not career, but what you want to call it, back on YouTube on the Aussie Startman, Aussie YouTube community channel, doing what I like to do best. But see, like, I'm talk about this, talk this vlog, look at this hair now, it looks completely different, because, you know, if you look at my old new channel where I just have a shaved bald head, now long hair, it says that it takes ages to get the hair to looking this awesome, and this, look at that, it's like stuck to my face, so you can't, I don't know what time, time that is, but look at that, you can't get that awesomeness, you like wake up and then like that, see, it's all like this, back in the hair, back, 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 and he looks all nice and pretty, and like, you, that's when all your grannies are like, oh, look at that guy, he's so nice, you know, I might get my granddaughter going and date me, and then they see this hair, and they go, oh no, look at him, he must do drugs and be in a rock and roll band or some shit like that, look at it, it's like, long black hair, you know, Look at me. Hey man, I'm Lee Singer of the Vibe. <laughs> Whatever he looks like, but yeah. Um, topic I want to talk about. Cooking with a wok. You'd be like, what? Why cooking with a wok? Um, my Mrs. Sorry, wife. Bleh. Uh, we have a wok and we like, use it rarely to cook things, but we went and bought stuff to make spring rolls today, or we went and bought stuff to make spring rolls. I sat down and played Xbox when she made them. Um, I can roll them, but I find it really, really I know hard to do it. I always turn it really long, and she says, "Oh no, they look nice." But I think she's lying just to make me feel nice, so I don't cry. Got a little ball in the corner of the room. But the walk was still there. We're gonna have dinner, and we're gonna have um, crumb lamb with chips. So I'm like, "Hey, why don't we just put the crumb lamb in the wok and cook it?" I think you know I can handle this. This is gonna be pretty good. You know, I cook all the time. Oh, not all the time. I said to my wife, you don't cook at all. You buy stuff. Um, but the crumb lamb's in the wok. Going pretty good. I'm like turning it, you know, just making sure. I don't know if you ever turn it in a wok. It's like even heat on the side and stuff. Just if it's floating side to the top. Turn it over. Look at the turnover. Keep turning over. So like that. It's going a nice golden brown. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll take it out. Just check the center, you know. I think, oh, yeah, this this baby's done. You know, it's time for dinner. It's time to nearly chuck of the chips to get them going as well. Take it out, cut it in half, and nice and gold on the outside, nice and red and juicy in the middle. Blah. I do not like my meat rare. I do not like my meat medium well done. I'm one of these people that need it like brown. I do not see it as killing meat. People say, oh no, you're ruining the meat. Most of the flavor of the blah, 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 blah. look at me, I'm wearing a fat cravat and I'm talking on Master Chef or something like that. <laughs> meat, I like it brown. I don't care what you say about it. Meat's and meat, no matter which way you eat it, you're not killing it. It is still there. If you're killing it, it'd be charcoal and you could throw it the wall and go straight through it. But so that lamb, that lamb did go into the oven after that. And the chips, phew, chips straight in. Stupid me, actually turn the walk off and then put the chips in and then turn them off back on. So the chips did take a little bit longer to cook, but they turned out really good and like kind of a lot better than McDonald's chips because they're not like, off fries. So because McDonald's fries are not really chips. I don't know, it's crap because you go to like KFC and Red Rooster and they have chips. You mean McDonald's fries? Sorry. Fries. There we go, like that. Yeah. So that was really good at cooking it with a wok. I'd enjoy it. I'd do it again. Spring rolls, they're pretty easy. Like all the Asian type foods, like that, that are deep fried, are really quick. So that's the thing with a wok is really hot. The oil gets really hot. I'm not sure what temperature it gets to. Chuck the stuff in. Make sure it's not frozen when you chuck it in. I made that mistake before. And it's kind of like if you had a pool. You just chuck a whole lot of crazy kids to it and they're splashing everywhere. That's basically what it looks like when you chuck something frozen into a really, really hot wok. Not a good idea when you're standing next to it and then you get covered in oil. Well, it didn't happen to me. But not tonight, but it didn't happen before. But that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Vlog. Cooking with a wok. But let's talk about me getting back to my channel. There's a video I do want to make. I do have to 
kind of get. I don't know if I can do this video, make the video myself, just because the different camera angles. I do have a camera and a tripod, but my height and the camera tripod is not that high, so I might have to try and find someone to help me in the area that I live. It's a bit hard, but I want to try and make this video, and it's kind of like the intro back to me doing gaming stuff again on YouTube while I can do continue doing this vlog every day. So that's it for this vlog. Um, clicking with a walk and eventually making it back to Aussie YouTube community. I was, was thinking that I'm making another channel and getting rid of the Aussie YouTube community, but that one's kind of already established and people know it. I'm not saying that I don't want to do it again, but I've done it before and it's just like when you um, make effort and if it's, I mean, it's not, it's seen, but not commented on, it's kind of, I know you don't mean take it to heart, but then I do, you know, you can't make people like, or dislike, or comment on your videos, but just even if someone put a nice video, or even like constructive criticism, even like if, if you didn't like the video, but put um, a bit of constructive criticism in the comments, I'd enjoy that, and it further me by making a YouTube by making better videos, because that's what we all want to do. We, all, we don't want to come on here and make a video that is ugly poo, because people are like, what's this? You know, is it recorded on a potato? I think it normally is, or is it recorded on a calculator? But then calculator these days probably have like some 20 megapixel camera in the back, and it'll be like a lot better than anything that people are using now. But <laughs> yes, that's it. Sorry for ranting and going off topic a lot. That's what I do. Um, my attention span is smaller than a goldfish, even though the prove a goldfish has my attention span more than three seconds. Anyway, guys, hooking up with a walk, coming back soon to Aussie Stuntman, going back to Aussie YouTube community, making a video. I'll see you then.